Um, this was our first repeat dose study with our recombinant enzyme for Neiman Pick B disease. We had five patients, five adult patients treated for six months uh, repeat dose um, and we took liver biopsies in these patients in order to evaluate the efficacy of the drug. So liver biopsy was used as um, a surrogate biomarker, if you will, to confirm the clearance of the substrate with enzyme. Um, what we found is a robust clearance from the liver. Uh, our clearance ranged from anywhere between 80 to 90 percent of baseline values in these patients. We optimized our methods in the mouse model of disease. In our laboratory, we use a glutaraldehyde fixative. This cross-links the tissue with the uh, substrate so that we are subsequently able to actually stain the substrate and distinguish it from the rest of the tissue. We take digital images of these histologic sections and we subject, to them, subject them to computer morphometry, which allows us to actually quantify the amount of sphingomyelin in a tissue section. So we do that at baseline and then at six months post-treatment. In addition to taking liver biopsies, we also examined uh, reductions in hepatosplenomegaly in these patients, and we saw associations in all five patients. Um, in addition, we looked at the lipoprotein profiles of these patients and saw improvements in both proatherogenic lipoproteins and antiatherogenic lipoproteins.